what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back happy day to you guys out there anyways today we're jumping in another two episodes of the walking dead today we're doing episodes 13 14 yes sir and last episode um we see that daryl and um deaf girl has rescued henry and lydia and they're on their way back hopefully they can get back i'm looking forward to seeing what's going to ensue after this and how they're going to show certain things i'm also glad i didn't talk about it in the review yesterday but um hopefully that they can you know i'm glad that gabriel is working shit out with rosita even though you know what i'm saying like the thing about Rosita is this, man, that I don't understand and what confuses the shit out of me with with her character is like, why do they have her character sleeping around so much? It's like, do you have to have a character like that? You know what I'm saying? It's just like she slept with so many guys in the show and the one person that loves her just gets friend zoned. It's just so weird like she got dumped by abraham you know what i'm saying i think she was in love with abraham let's just say that i think she was in love with abraham didn't expect it then she slept with spencer and you know i thought now she was gonna be with but she was fooling around with everybody before then remember that story she told sasha when they were when they when they were over watching over sanctuary do you guys remember that when they went there and got captured and shit do you remember the story that she was telling? That she was, oh, I was just having fun with everybody. Anyways, see you guys for the review. All right, so we got two more episodes left for, two more episodes left for this season. And I have to say, episode 14, my guy, my guy. That has to go down as one of the and and it and it seems like the the flashback episodes it you know what I'm saying I've always enjoyed the flashback episodes and I have to say man like that was definitely in my opinion that was the best episode of the season and that's just for me you get what I'm saying that's just for me I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way. There's still two more episodes to go, but I feel like up until this point, episode 14 was definitely that episode of the season. Um, you know, finally getting an understanding of why Michonne closed or closed Alexandria off from everybody else. That would change anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I really wanted to know you guys saw how curious I was to know about what happened what's the falling out it wasn't even a falling out it really was just her making a decision based on what she went through to protect everybody at Ale alexandra you know what i'm saying that would change anybody's mind you know what i'm saying if it put me in that situation i probably would have made the same decision um you know what i mean but totally understandable if somebody comes along to talk her into opening up again you get what i'm saying because you got to protect everyone not just the people at alexandra um as i said i understand why she made the choice i have no issue now with the choice but going forward now that she's decided to open it back up to help in the other communities and stuff like that um going forward because of judith I mean, she had to kill kids, man. Like, <sighs> bruh. <sighs> I don't know, bruh. <laughs> I don't know. It's late at night. I still want to watch these two episodes that's left so I can finish up the season tonight. Um, <sighs> This show is just, it's off the chain, man. It's off the chain. Nine seasons in. I think this is probably one of the longest shows that I've watched through nine seasons that I can say to you guys as a TV show, 
it lives up to the hype. You know what I'm saying? Through nine seasons, it does live up to the hype. You know, before before all of this, you know, before I started reacting and stuff like that, I used to see The Walking Dead because you couldn't escape it. It's kind of like Game of Thrones. You couldn't really escape it because the popularity is so huge. You know what I'm saying? But I never, you know what I'm saying? As I said, I think I think it was in my intro before I did episode one. I said, I, I'm not I'm not really a guy that loves to watch anything about zombies that much because I believe it's so cliche. It It's so everything is the same when it comes on to to anything that when it comes on to zombies. Right. Um, it's the same thing. But this takes the idea and turn it into something that's it's completely different unexpected and i live for it man i live for it i love stuff like this i love when stories are told in a very um upfront comprehensive way there's a flow to it even though we've had some bumps and uh, you know what i'm saying along the way it still delivers on a high level and you can see the difference this season that they've gone back to the old, you know what I'm saying? Bar in season eight, you know what I mean? They've gone back to the old things that used to matter to the walking dead, the things that we want to see and how to connect the story, how to connect everybody in this world. There was a time skip and I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? No issue at all. Um, the actress that plays Judith props out to her. Um, there's not a lot of children actors out there that can impress me. You get what I'm saying? But Judith has impressed me. The last, I think the last child actor that impressed me was Dakota, I don't remember her name, but I think her name is Dakota Fannin. I think it was Dakota Fannin. Um, I don't remember what the movie was that I watched with her. Um, I think it's the one that she got nominated or she won an Oscar for, if I'm not mistaken. But she was a kid kid, you know what I'm saying? Probably around Judith's age, too. And she killed that role, you know what I'm saying? So I always got to point that out because I don't think children actors get recognition most of them deserve but at the same time it's not a lot of them that impress me you get what i'm saying you know a kid is a kid you know what i mean but when kids get lines in movies tv shows and they deliver that shit you have to give them props man you have to give them props because you as a kid you have to have a passion for doing it to do it good you know what I'm saying? So appreciate y'all because the kid, they're not doing it for the money. You know what I mean? They're not doing it for the money. So that's why you got to give them props. They're doing it because they want to do it. That's their passion. That's is, is what they want to do. They want to act. You know, you have actors and actresses out there. They're doing it for the money as adults. They're just doing it for the money. They don't give a shit about delivering, doing a good job. It's like, oh, you you paying me five, ten million to do this role? Oh, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I really do appreciate that. So sending love to that actress. I don't know what her name is, um, but I'm pretty sure she's probably like two years older than when she did this um, show. So I don't know if you know she's probably growing up on the show right now. So I don't I don't know because I haven't seen season ten yet. We got two more episodes to go. So make sure you tune in tomorrow to see those. And I will catch you guys later, man. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment.